this is what I'm uh, looking at anyway. But let's try this. Let's see how it works out. You know, with resin, it can always be covered over. Um, I may end up putting, uh, lightening that blue a little bit. I've got some different things going on here. Again, I have no idea what these colors are going to look like together. They might be a little bit too dark, but hard to know sometimes how the white is going to act with it. And that's a little bit of diamond dust, which is so pretty. My copper, my white. No, I'm going to lighten that blue. Wow, this diamond is really gorgeous. I don't know if you can you see inside there. Beautiful. My fan's going, so it might be, or my heater's going, so it might be a little bit hard to hear me. I will speak up. Copper. I think that I am going to combine the blue uh, into, into one of these. I did put a barrier up again this time. I wasn't going to originally, but um, I thought I'm going to try it again, like I did with my room divider. Control how quickly it flows over and go from there. Add that lighter blue, a little bit of that. Who knows? It's kind of fun. I heard it described as uh, like Christmas morning because you don't know what you're going to get. neat already. I like it. I'm going to just hang on. I'm going to shoot this for a second. Use some light. And I'm going to pour the blue around. want this to create some veins if I can. I know it's against the black, but it will reflect blue in the end. This also will help the resin move. Resin resists going where there is no resin already. So by pushing it this around, it will help the resin move more easily to the edges. It's amazing how far that goes, that little bit of resin, isn't it? Oh, I hope this turns out. Like I said, I usually don't do lives. I usually video and then um, and check out whether I like it or not. So I've just started doing these lives and taking a chance, but oops. let's see how this goes. Okay, so this is the fun part, everybody. Get some paper towel here. Where I pour out this container of lusciousness. Another little bit here that I've got. I do like the blues. The 
nice part about being able to separate the top from the bottom is that I can tilt this now. Whereas um, with the tabletop that's attached, I will have to um, blow the resin, move the resin around with a heat source or my finger or something. Oh my gosh, look at these colors, everybody. Hope you can see this well enough. So, you know what, I'm just gonna heat it a little bit. Again, this resin is my quicker drying resin. So I won't have as much time to mess around with it. This tabletop is a little wonky as well. It's kind of bowed, so I am fighting against that. So you can see the underlying color that I put on first, that dark blue, has created some veins. I just learned that this morning. Um, there's a lot of information on, on the internet uh, that is really helpful. Stone Coat Countertops is an incredible company um, where I will be ordering from as soon as they have the products that I want. I'm just putting in, I don't know if you can see this, I'm just adding in the rest of my resin. The resin settles in these little cups and um, so you always have a little bit more to scrape out and that's what I'm doing, I'm scraping out the residual. Um, but the cells that are forming are really cool too. Those are as a result of the different the metallics mixing with the paint, mixing with um, even the spray paint. I have the spray paint in here as well. So this is cool. All right, I'm gonna shoot this with some white. I'll be right back. here. Uh, start this way. I also wondered what it was going to be like to have a round surface like this. And I'm seeing that, um, yeah, it definitely acts differently. I have done coasters, as I said, and they're round, but So even to drag through, you see, it can create some interesting veins. I'm trying to mimic natural rock here, right? Marble or stone. Oh, that's wicked. Loving it. Let's see what I got here. It's copper, I'm telling you. I'm loving it so much. I might be saying loving it too much. But yeah, that's, it's lovely. I, I'm an orange person though. I, so this, I dig this a lot. Um, so I'm going to be taking the tape off soon because I am nervous that it's going to not tumble over the sides. So even that space there is kind of interesting, isn't it? Yeah, like it feels like it's not moving already. So I'm going to just heat it up. I wish I had a cameraman. I've got to get one of my kids out here. Uh -uh. 
baby. Flow, baby, flow. Again, doesn't want to go where no man has gone before, so I have to kind of force it. But I think I have enough in my containers too to get it to, to apply some manually if I have to. I think it's kind of a peacockish, peacockish. Be careful how I say that. Kind of like a to me, it's like a peacock. Come on. I'm going to have to tilt. I'm going to have to tilt it a little bit here. Yeah, it's kind of stubborn. It's stubborn. Might be enough, though. Let's just see. See this okay? I can bring it right up to you, actually. Look at that. Oh. 